Well, tube. Today we have Beowulf by Anonymous. This is the Seamus Heaney translation. So Beowulf. Oh, I should. I gotta do my disclaimers down below. Affiliate link to bookshop.org where if you use my affiliate link to go buy Beowulf. Uh, I get a small commission. You get an awesome book at no extra cost to yourself. And it's a win-win. You help support my channel. Uh, and you get an awesome book. Or any other book. You can buy any book. Using my affiliate link. Also, disclaimer number two. I am not a smart man. I don't claim to be a smart man. I'll never claim to be a smart man. So if you are a student and you have an essay due tomorrow or a book report or, or a, a, a test and you're watching this video because you think I'm going to help you pass it, you are very wrong. You are so wrong. I will, you will fail. You will fail and then you'll come back here and you'll just be all snarky in my comment section. So it... it this video is purely for entertainment purposes only. Feel free to laugh at me. I don't care. You're not gonna hurt my feelers. It might hurt my feelers just a little bit, but you know we'll get we'll get past. I'm a big boy. And so shall we get along with with it? Uh, so this is an epic poem. Yes, a poem. An old English. OE eight hundred. Actually, it'd be like OE six hundred because. It was like, it's kind of like when it was uh, set in, it was like the 6th century BC. I'm trying to remember. No, that'd be 500, right? Oh my gosh. I am not very bright. Let's see, 0 would be the 1st century, so it'd be 500, right? So it'd be like, we're parting in 599. Um, the unknown author that i know of anyway i don't think anybody knows who the author is um which is a shame because whoever uh came up with this story is probably let's get real it was probably like told throughout the ages until someone finally wrote it down so you know it's probably somebody's grand great 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 grandpa that told the story um, but it, they, they think it was written around, according to the Wikipedia's, between seven and one thousand, seven hundred and one thousand A.D. So you know, the book itself is set in like Scandinavia. Um, there are a bunch of heathens back then, you know. Um, Beowulf, our our hero of the Geats. I think it's Geats. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not smart. Um, which I believe was somewhere in Sweden, uh, was, was the Geats. Uh, he goes down to help, um, uh, Roth, Rothgar, Hrothgar, the king of the Danes, to defeat, um, Grendel, who was attacking his mead, mead something, mead storage, mead warehouse. I don't know, apparently Grendel wanted some of that mead, um, Beowulf took a spoiler alert because you know you have to do a spoiler alert for something that's um you know a thousand years old. Beowulf TC beat all over the place. That means took care of business. Um, then to revenge her son's death, then he had to go TCB all over uh, Grendel's mother. Then he goes home where he becomes king of the Geats. King of the Yeats. And then, like, some time goes by, and there's a dragon that um, does something somewhere, and he goes to fight this dragon where um, uh, he defeats the dragon, but in the process, he gets mortally wounded and ends up dying um, in the battle where then he. Uh, you know, has a Viking funeral, I guess. I don't know. Uh, which I'm reading um, Ibn Fandel or whatever it is. The um, So originally I read this because this and the um, the Ibn 
Gandalf. I'm saying that completely wrong. I'm doing the Michael Crichton read along. So, um, Eaters of the Dead is like a retelling of this Ibn guy and Beowulf. And um, let me tell you, they these Vikings knew how to partay. I don't know if they're technically Vikings or not, but the, the, the people in this area knew how to partay as a funeral. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, when we get to that book, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that more, which probably won't be until like September. And uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. This book, now this is the only translation I've ever read. This is the one, only time I've ever read this. And I got to say, I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it because in this book, see, for one, it's got the facing pages, which is always cool, even though I can't read Old English. I don't know if I can see that. There's these little blurbs on the side of the page, and look, that has a a um a term, an ology. Um, I don't know the terminology for it, but it's like a footnote, but on the side of the page, and these little footnotes give you little little just little blurbs of what is happening in these passages and i think without those little passages without these little blurbs i would have had no clue what's going on i guarantee you i would have had no clue what's going on however thanks to these little these little blurby things i was able to read the passage and then read the little blurb beowulf and his band prepared to depart you know um he proceeded to behead Grendel's corpse. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, Beowulf arms for the underwater fight. Yeah, there's an underwater fight. I think, was that the... I don't remember who he fought under. It might have been Grendel that he fought underwater. I don't know, it was weird. Um, Rogoth, Rogarth laments the death of his counselor. He knows Grendel's mother must avenge her son. Maybe it was his mother that he... I don't remember. I thought it was his mother he fought underwater, but... I could be wrong on that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm not smart. And apparently the little notes uh, didn't help me that much because I don't remember it. But anyway, I gotta say, I really enjoyed uh, this... Uh, I, I, I enjoyed the translation. I have no other translations to compare it to um i'm kind of debating on maybe trying J.R.R. tolkien's translation i've never read any tolkien uh, i think it might be kind of interesting uh one to try to, to kind of see what tolkien did with it and see if tolkien might be something i might be interested in um and uh, I, I know he did the Lord of the Rings and stuff, so, you know, I, I've never read any of that stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll like it. I don't know if I'd be able to understand it, is the problem. But that's neither here nor there. We're not here to talk about L-O-T-R. Um, however, I want to say, um, I might upgrade this. I got this one off of, um, uh, Thrift Books or eBay or something, but I know... Uh, the the Norton Critical Edition because this is this one is WW Norton. I know the Norton Critical Edition is um, the Seamus Heaney translation as well. If anybody out there has the Norton Critical of this or has read it or whatever, can you tell me if it has the little the site like this one does? Because if it if it does, I'm thinking I might upgrade to the norm that way i can get some um introduction and essays and stuff to kind of check out if it doesn't i'll probably just stick with this one to be honest i might pick up this is the, the tolkien one i might pick up the oxford one just to see what that heather o'donohue did with it but overall really enjoyed it i'm surprised i didn't know anything about this going into it and um i'm honestly surprised i enjoyed it as much as i did i went into this thinking that it was going to be a slog and I'm just, it's just not going to be my cup of tea. However, I really liked it. So I guess that's it for this one, peeps. Uh, Beowulf. Have you ever read Beowulf? Have you read the, what translation did you read it? And if you have read it, 
You probably are smart and read it in high school when you were supposed to. I did it. I didn't read nothing in high. The only thing I read in high school was the lottery, I think. Or Fahrenheit 451. That might be it. That might be it. Um, I, I, I started reading very, 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 very extremely late in life. So I am I am not very well read, even though I have a booktube channel. But um, yeah, let me know down below, and let me know, like I said, if you have the Norton Critical Edition, or even if you if you see one at your local bookstore, it's gonna be a minute probably before I ever get to anywhere that might even possibly have it. I don't know if that's something that Barnes and Noble might carry, um, but I don't think I'm gonna get to one of those for quite a while. Um, so if you can help, if you if you can help a Beowulf out, um, and let me know if the Norton critical edition has the man i wish i knew what those are called i'm sure it says somewhere that if i took the time to look i should have googled what the term was before i started this video but i'm not a good uh, youtuber so my my stash is really weird right now doesn't matter that's it for this one peeps cheers